Hi, my darlings. How are you doing? This is going to be for my Scorpios. And this is just going to be a little midweek check-in, okay? I will be using my Art of Adventure tarot deck to see what messages we have for you. And for all my newcomers, I would like to welcome you. I welcome you with open arms and an open heart. To everyone who stops by or every day or whenever I post and listen to my videos, I thank you so very much. I welcome you. I'm grateful. Oh, I'm so thankful. And I genuinely love all you guys. I hope I can impart to you the importance of healing and of loving yourself. To build within you the desire to have happiness, to be happy. And it starts with self. It starts with healing. It starts with loving self. And then we got to forgive others and loving others too. But when I say love others, you know, even the people I'm forgiving, when I say loving and forgiving, it's not necessarily, oh, because I, I've forgiven them and I love them, I'm going to bring them back in my circle. No, you can love them from far, okay? Just letting you know that. So let's see what messages we have for you, Scorpio. So Scorpio, this is for you. The Queen of Cups, I would say that's you, Scorpio. The Justice card. This could mean that you're balanced or if you've just gone through or if you're going through something legal, most likely it will be in your favor. Whatever it is, it will be fair and balanced all across the board, okay? The Four of Swords. You got some thinking to do. <clears throat> and you need to rest. You need to rest. You've been doing a little too much. Maybe you've been worrying a lot. But you need to find a moment and rest. The Queen of Wands. This is an energy that's in the past. This could be a, um, a Leo, a Sagittarius, or an Aries. Or maybe your confidence and self-esteem you feel is a thing of the past. Darling, I'm here to tell you, you can get it back. Take some work. It's practice. But you can get it back. I guarantee you. Do you know where? It's just hidden a little bit. That's all it is. And the star card, don't you lose the faith. You hear me? You hold on to it. You keep your eye on the prize, my darlings. And the page of swords. You're getting new messages. Are you planning to go somewhere? You already have a destination in sight. And is it taking you to love? New love? Unified love? Oh, let's see. Some kind of union. This is romance. This is the Knight of Cups. I think something, if it hasn't arrived as yet, something extremely loving is on the way. Or you're going towards it. You're going to have communication. You got the Ace of Swords here. Now, okay, let me show you. I'm sorry. Two of Cups. I wasn't sure if I showed you that. The Knight of Cups. And then you got the Ace of Swords. So you're either waiting for communication or you're about to have some mental clarity or the communication is incoming. Romantic communication. Oh, but you know how life is sometimes. Ah. <sighs> You might have some inner conflict in regards to this 
meeting this energy here this romantic energy you might have because i got the five of swords so something is gonna happen There might, there's the possibility of an argument, but you're going to overcome that. I don't think you're going to partake in it. Not that I don't think. You're not going to partake in it. I got the Wheel of Fortune. Okay? You're not going to partake in it. And then you're going to be back to being happy again. The Ten of Cups. So I love you guys. You take care of yourselves. So you do have some romantic energy coming in. Some kind of union. There might have been a divorce earlier or sometime before, you know, that made you kind of like lose who you were, who you are, made you forget for a little while. But you're getting it back. You got the star card. I love you. You take care of yourselves and I'll chat with you soon. Bye.